Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you all are having so much fun learning about the ocean and all the creatures that live in the ocean. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video from Miss Lucille and Miss Melissa and Miss Terry. And I hope you had a lot of fun with Miss Meg last week. That was so fun that she could come on twice. So today, I thought it would be kind of fun because it's been really sunny out lately. Um, we're really getting into that nice weather, which is great. That means more time for outside. Um, so I thought it would be fun to make ocean sun catchers. So for today's activity, you will need a coffee filter, your favorite sea animal cut out on black construction paper. At the end of this activity, we are going to take our sea animal, which I just made a little fishy, and we're going to glue it right in the middle of our coffee filter. Boys and girls, I thought it would be fun to play a little game before we got started. So Miss Jessie is going to show you a picture of an animal, okay? And I want you to tell me if the animal lives in the water, if the animal lives on land, or the animal lives in the air, okay? So in the sky. So does it fly, walk on land, or swim in the sea, okay? All right, boys and girls, here's the first animal. So boys and girls, does this animal live in the air? So does it fly? Does it live on land? Or does it live in the sea? You got it, this animal lives in the sea. That's right. All right, boys and girls, here's your next animal. Okay, does this animal live on the land, in the air, or in the sea? You got it, boys and girls. This animal lives on land. Nice job. Very well done. All right, boys and girls, here's our last animal. Does it live in the sky, on land, or in the sea? That's right, boys and girls. It lives in the air, so that means this animal flies. So that was awesome, boys and girls. That was just a fun little activity um, I wanted to do with you. So we're going to go ahead and get started right with our activity. So what Miss Jessie did is I'm actually going to use this scrap piece of paper and I'm going to put it on my table because when we color, we're going to color this coffee filter all different colors. And when we color the coffee filter, I'm just a little nervous. I don't want it to get through onto my table. So I'm going to put down a black piece of construction paper and I'm actually going to use two coffee filters, but we're only doing our activity with one. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to color all over the coffee filter, okay? As much as you can. It's okay if some white is showing. I know that sometimes we have to color so no white is showing, but it's okay if there's some white showing. I'm just gonna take my marker on the fat part of my marker, okay? I'm gonna kind of hold that side. It's on the side of the marker and I'm gonna hold it on my coffee filter like this. And I'm just gonna move it back and forth until I kind of just make a little squiggle line and then that's it. And then I'm going to move on to my next color. Okay. So I want you to pick a, a few of your favorite colors. I want you to color your coffee filter and then we'll come back and talk about it. Welcome back. I hope you had fun coloring your coffee filter. I just kind of lightly colored around. You can see a lot of white showing. Okay. Um, I put two colors in the middle and then on the sides I did some pink, orange, and some teal or some turquoise. Okay, so I colored all around my coffee filter. The next step is super fun. So right now, Miss Jessie has a cookie sheet. And on that cookie sheet, I have a piece of parchment paper and a paper towel. You can use tin foil, which might work best because you want something on your cookie sheet so that way it doesn't stain the cookie sheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your coffee filter on your cookie sheet, just like that, okay? Now, if you have a spray bottle, ask your parents to fill it up with just a little bit of water because I want you to spray your coffee filter. If you don't have a spray bottle, that is okay. I want you to get a little bowl of water and you can dip your fingers in the water and kind of sprinkle it on your coffee filter. You can kind of flick the water on your coffee filter all over until your coffee filter is covered. Okay, so boys and girls, Miss Jessie has a spray bottle, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to hold it pretty high. So my coffee filter is way down here and I'm going to hold it pretty high and I'm just going to sp spray maybe, that was three times, maybe four. Awesome. Okay. So boys and girls, I sprayed it about four times and this is kind of what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then we're going to come back and we're going to glue, if I can find it, we're going to glue our special ocean friend right on the coffee filter. Welcome back. 
If your coffee filter is nice and dry now, you can take some glue. Now, I would use a glue stick, but Miss Jessie doesn't have a glue stick. So this is the glue that I have in hand. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on my sea animal, okay? Just a little bit. And I'm gonna put them right in the middle of my sun catcher, okay? So here we go. So here is my animal in the middle of my sun catcher. And you know what, boys and girls? Because I had two coffee filters, I made two sun catchers. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna cut out another sea animal and add it onto this coffee filter so I can hang up two sun catchers in my house, okay? The really fun thing about this activity is you can make as many sun catchers as you want and you can hang them in the windows. And they look so beautiful because the sun shines right through. So boys and girls, you can make as many as you want. If you don't have coffee filters, no problem. You know what you can do? You can take a piece of white paper, cut it into a circle, and you can still make your animal. It doesn't have to even be black construction paper. You can color the white piece of paper and glue on your animal, and that will work just fine. We have to just use what we have, and if that's all you have, that's okay. So boys and girls, I hope you had so much fun making your sea animal sun catcher. I most certainly did. I hope you enjoy looking at it hanging in the window. The sun is going to be shining through your hard work. So boys and girls, I hope you had fun with this activity today. I hope you all have a great day.